My only thing is that it fell sharp on specific. I'm happy about uh, the redirection of government focus into agriculture. Uh, a lot of money has been put. It has been raised up to about 9% of the budget. Uh, that's very good. It's a serious matter and it is, I appeal to all the Ugandans because it is the president in the budget has mentioned it. We should all fight corruption. It begins with me and you. So let us work hard to implement this budget. It is hard work. It is going to bring a better uh, position in development of this country. Very happy and really excited if the president and the government can go ahead to really settle out the issue of job creation and unemployment among the youth. It's a serious matter and it is, I appeal to all the Ugandans because it is, the president in the budget has mentioned it. We should all fight corruption. It begins with me and you. So let us work hard to implement this budget. It is hard work. It is going to bring a better uh, position in development of this country. The president comes out with an issue of increasing more money, more funds in agriculture sector. I feel that we shall do away with poverty. And it too talks about the infrastructure, and also here is the electricity and the infrastructure. I can see that if it is implemented, then lastly, corruption, zero corruption. If we do implement that, Ugandans will develop, the Kamali people will enjoy. The new president of government will be able to do a workshop. The workshop will be able to do a government, the government will be able to do hotels, allowances, the seminars. I discovered agriculture, which is the backbone of uh, Uganda economy, which contributes 26% of, of the GDP of Uganda, is only given 3.71 in agriculture, which I believe is unfair, because uh, other sectors are overfunded. It concentrated itself much on investment, and I believe attracting more investors through the, when we resolve the issues of the tariffs, would we'll be able to attract more investors in our country, and that would mean creating employment opportunity for Ugandans and the young people of our country. Now, looking at the way, uh, actually, they were reading it, it looked much of a gamble. Because you can't tell me that you, you have already put up that you're going to raise 26 trillion. You ask yourself how and who's going to raise it. You tell, you are, you are lamenting that we are spending much of our income is importing, uh, yet we are, we are getting less from the exportation. Well, we welcome the President's repeated comment that he intends to work very hard again to crush uh, corruption. We think that's great and we, we stand ready to help in any way we can. Thank you. Thank you very much.